Hi, this is Sipan Song. I am from Kanun Guru. So today we will know about Justice Pralhad Balacharya Gajendra Gadkar. Who was the seventh Chief Justice of India, Gadkar. Gajendra Gadkar, Jay's rich judicial history, reveals him to be a staunch defender of the labor rights. The court's greatest center in the 75 year post independence history and the Indira Gandhi appointed chairman of the Sixth Law Commission of India that operated during the emergency. Born on March 16, 1901, Gajendra Gadkar J came from a family of Sanskrit scholars who traced their profession back to the Maratha courts regaining, reigning over the Tekken a few centuries earlier. The pravastity of the language reflected in Gajendra Gadkar's education. While he had completed an LLB from the Indian Law Society's Law College in Pune, by 1926, between 1922 and 26, he earned a BA and MA in English and Sanskrit from the nearby Deccan College. On August 25, 1926, a few months after obtaining his legal education, Gajendra Gadkar J. enrolled as an advocate at the Bombay High Court. The early days of his practice, says, saw few and far cases land on his desk. Gajendra Gadkar J. even considered giving up the provision altogether. To become an English professor, his legal career eventually picked up two decades down the line. In 1947, he was appointed as a permanent judge at the Bombay High Court. He would hold this position until 1957 on January 17th of the same year. He was elevated as a judge of the Supreme Court. Gajendra Gadkar J was expected to replace the presiding CGI SJ Imam on April 18, 1965 and serve for only a few months. Due to his latter's poor health, Gajendra Gadkar J was elevated earlier on February 1st, 1964. He would serve as CGI for over two years. Gajendra Gadkar J retired from SC office on March 15th, 1966. During his time at the SC, Gajendra Gadkar J authorized 494 judgments and sat on 337 benches. Thank you.